go about this? How did, how did I do it yesterday? Throw us from darkest to lightest. Uh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> We're gonna introduce by, based on skin color. So who who has the lightest tinge? I think I'm, I'm actually, the light. I'm the lightest skin here. Yeah, we're all I'm we're all white inside. Black. I'm two percent black. I don't know about Marlo, so I think I go no, first. Marlo is the darkest. <laughs> well, I'm darker on the God. inside. Welcome to episode five of I'm Piss, the new podcast edition. I am your host Devil, and I am joined here today by my three co-hosts and partners in crime. My name is John. My name is Marlo. Hi everyone. I'm Victor. So I have a, a handful of topics on this episode. Today we're going to talk about Lolly. That is the main focus of this episode, but we're just, uh, we're just going to be chatting shit and, you know, messing around here. So our first topic for today is Def Noodles, our favorite YouTuber, our second favorite YouTuber, because we all know who our first favorite YouTuber is. What did he do? Yeah, can you, like, give us a, a okay, rundown yeah. of the... Yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys a rundown. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know, if, have you guys heard of Def Noodles at all before? No. Nope. Nope. I know from... Noodle from Gorillas. Shut up. I hate you. Well, okay, so basically yeah. Def Noodles is... Uh... Oh, actually, I can't even fucking check his account. You know why? Because I'm blocked. Why'd you get oh, blocked? Oh, Noodles one, blocked. One, you do this a 100 case followed or, a follower account blocked me. Because I, I mean, called him a you. retard. <laughs> it's a little witty, little witty, well, bitty Def Noodles guy. Around. Calling people retards on Instagram, Giovanni. It's just Twitter. You, you gotta be nice. Is there a is there a politically right word for retard? Uh, <laughs> autistic. Um. Okay. Mentally not okay. Well, let me just give you guys a brief rundown here on what happened. So, you guys might be asking, why did I call Def Noodles a retard? Why did I call him autistic? Well, the reason why did is, you call him retard? yeah, that's that's the the big question, and the reason is because. Well, basically, uh, he posted his uh, his account is, is he's like a news account. He's like the the Twitter version of Keemstar, basically. Like if Drama Alert had a like its own Twitter account, it's basically what it is. And um, well, he reported on on a false uh, sexual assault allegation and a joke allegation, and he took them both seriously. Well, point is, basically, there was this allegation of this one chick, who uh, I mean, do you guys know who Chase Hudson is, by the way? No, isn't that Lil Huddy? Yeah, Lil Huddy. He's he's the fucking I've heard loser TikToker. That... <laughs> well, his, his 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 shitty rap career is is uh, besides the point. But what happened was this girl came um and she alleged that um well pretty much that uh, Lil Huddy uh, sexually assaulted her, and you might be asking, well, how? Well, in the video, she pretty much says that um. Well, they they basically had sex after a tour that Lil Huddy hosted, uh, and the morning after she regretted it, and that's what she calls sexual assault. Not sexual assault, then. Not sexual assault, but guess how this motherfucker reported the fucking sexual assault. He he reported it as basically that she was raped by this by Lil Huddy, and once everyone started calling him out, he was like, "Oh, uh, uh, uh the the case was a little bit confusing. It was hard to tell. No, just misinformation." <laughs> yeah. He just wouldn't own up to him fucking up the case. I know that... What's his name? Little Huddy? Yeah. He has other things against him. Like racial things against him, but I kind of... Oh, people call him a racist? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm not... Why, is he racist? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. What happened with that? He's attractive. He, he has, can't be <laughs> <laughs> Uh Well, the second case that was really fucking stupid was that basically this, this Def Noodles guy... Uh, you know how, obviously, April 1st just passed recently. And yeah. uh, I'm sure you guys know about the recent James Charles stuff that's been going on, right? Oh, yeah. How um, he yeah. jokingly texted a, an underage girl. I mean, boy. <laughs> girl? Yeah, he came he out as straight. straight. Yeah, he, he, con he converted back to being straight. Well, I mean, <laughs> the point is, um, Def Noodles reported on a, a, a TikTok of this one guy where it was a, it was a very obviously fake joke DM. So Def Noodles tweets out, who could have seen this coming? James Charles exposed by 14-year-old boy who alleges James Charles reached out to him in Instagram DMs, asking him to add him on Snapchat. Boy informs James he's 14, and James replies, how about now? James commented on TikTok, which is from 2020. Well, what happened was, this was... Okay, let's just let's just put this into perspective. So this guy, the James Charles DMs this kid, apparently, and he says, hey, can you add me on Snap? He says, I'm only 14. Then a full fucking five years later, 
or four, I guess you could say four years later. Uh, James, James <laughs> Charles says, how about now? Now, ignore the fact that this says hashtag funny, hashtag meme on the TikTok. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, it's kind of stupid how he reported it as true. Pretty dumb. Yeah, I don't think anybody would what be if... that desperate, right? Waiting four years for the same person. Yeah, and... Just to wait until they're 18. Have you seen some, like, Indian Facebook posts? <laughs> okay, besides that. <laughs> There's a bunch of Indian people I know who would ask for sex. Yeah, I'm sure you do know. I mean, isn't the age of consent in like in India like five? Too young. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a bit too a bit too young for for all the horny Indian men. But I just find it strange how he how he butchered this. Like he he couldn't even fucking tell it was a fake allegation. It was obviously a fucking joke <laughs> allegation, and he, he he reported it as true when it obviously wasn't. So this guy is not trustworthy in the fucking slide. He he's the biggest dipshit and this is what warranted me to tweet at him being like you're actually fucking retarded for taking this seriously I don't, I don't, I don't think he should be trusted at all like not at all not even in the slightest I okay he, either he, the guy deliberately thought like hey maybe I can just get some views for like I don't know a, a shit story that isn't at all believable when you actually look at the source but either, either he's stupid enough not to look at the source or he thinks he's his, uh, his viewers are stupid enough not to check <laughs> So either way, he's an asshat. Well, and also, to give you some context, this guy has been cocksucking Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytits like, for the past couple months. And I don't know if you guys know, but Ethan Klein and Trisha have been pushing this agenda that James Charles is fully fucking guilty. Like, super guilty. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, guilty. Well, yeah. have you asked James Charles? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I DM'd him, I DM'd okay. him last night. He, he didn't get back to me, unfortunately, but... Uh. <laughs> I mean, it's it's funny because um, I mean, have you guys? Do you guys know anything about James Charles? Like, do you guys have anything to? You know? Uh, he's oh. like a cool guy. I mean, it's, I think he'd he'd get in your DMs a little bit, wouldn't he? I think, I think I already told you guys this. If James Charles were to come to my house and offer me sex, I would say yes, and then immediately after, call the police and sue him and make millions <laughs> of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like the sounds like a great plan. Free case? Uh, I, I don't know. You know. As as you know, maybe this is the wrong opinion to have, but I don't. I with everything that's happening so far, I still don't think James Charles is guilty. I just don't think there's enough yet. Cause yeah, there's 16 victims that come out. Which first of all, that number is fucking insane. Like you're telling me, there has to be at least one that's bullshit. At the it, let, let let me just play devil's advocate. There has to be at least one that is fully bullshit on that one. There's no way he has 16 underage victims that are fully fact maybe the dude's just a player well he did say on his apology that he was desperate <laughs> i'm just gonna ignore what you just said wait what he uh, he, <laughs> he uh he had an apology video or like a, a video where he addressed the, the allegations and he said like you know um i was desperate i did dm people but his basically what's what's keeping him afloat right now is that he says he did not know the age stop the podcast rap joint No, no, no. Oh, Raph, introduce oh, yourself. Shit. Hello. Raph. Hey, Raph, we're, we're, we're redoing the podcast with Marlo now. Oh, why with Marlo? You just gotta, like... Wow! <laughs> hey, he's My what's gonna time. bring the views in. Yeah, he's what's gonna rake in yeah, the views. Marlo's one facing the, the thumbnail, here. and it's like putting titties in a thumbnail. <laughs> we, need a token, we need a token Filipino, Raph. You know the thousands or thousands that. thousands that Giovanni gets? I bring the millions. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there we go. There we fucking go. Oh, uh, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, James Charles. Well, pretty much, I don't. I just don't think James Charles is guilty yet because there hasn't been enough proof to suggest that he knows their age. He, like actual evidence. Yeah, like he he's okay. So these victims have provided everything except for James proof that James knew their ages, which is very convenient. That, are, that aren't hashtag lol funny. Yeah, the, yeah. The the one <laughs> most of the the victims that I'm talking about right now are are ones that don't put it under hashtag memes hashtag lol. And I've seen people say like you know oh James Charles needs to prove that he doesn't know their age. I don't know how he can prove that he doesn't know. Like you can't really prove a negative. Yeah. It's it's up to the accuser to provide the evidence that he knew their age. It's not like the burden of evidence lies on the accuser, not the yeah. accusee. Accusee. Yeah, it's like interviewer interviewee. Excusee. Excusee. I know that guy. Stupid. Isn't he like what? What is SQC? Is he uh? SQC. Yeah, SQC. Is he Italian or French? 
I, French, I'm pretty sure right? he's French, right? He puts a bad name on us. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's, you're the only French guy here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, now well, the, now the viewers of your race. Oh, yeah, They're going to think you're white or one. <laughs> I'm black, by the way. What? Watching. Right, you're yeah. black. One percent black. I have a one uh, percent. You're one percent black. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's a topic that I know Raph is gonna fucking love. So Stephen Crowder. There's a clip of Stephen Crowder recently today, where he replicated the George Floyd uh, putting the knee on the neck uh, event. Oh my! Did, God. did you hear about this, Raph? I had not heard about it. Let me see if I can find Was the it clip. Accurate? Is he in? Oh, what are you doing, man? Don't you like George? Oh, uh, not George Floyd. Shit. Don't you like uh, <laughs> Stephen Crowder? I, mean, I, uh, I don't. I I used to watch him a lot, and I I do. I agree with a lot of what he's saying, but I don't really watch him a lot anymore. Right here, yeah, right me too. Here, I stopped just... him for a while. Let me see. Huh? Man. Let me see the. Okay, so right here. I stopped watching him. Will you stop watching him? How come? Just because? No, I mean, like, I I still like agree with him on like a lot of stuff. I think. I don't know. I think I already told you this, but like, I got tired of politics like really fast. Yeah, dude, politics. I was is, like, like you know what? Yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna care anymore. And then I, I did. Uh, uh it's just a bunch of outrage culture. Like I, you know, sometimes yeah, right? it's fun to sit down and listen to like a uh, a political podcast, but then sometimes it's like, man, fuck, this is like super annoying. Well, okay, well here's the here's the clip I wanted to show you guys where he just replicates. The George Floyd scene. But just like with Epstein, I am going to uh, be a human experiment here because uh, I don't buy it. It's time for me to go outside and live on concrete, knee on neck slash shoulder for nine minutes. Hey, Stephen, have somebody move your earpiece to the other ear because they'll be kneeling right where it's oh, attached you to your to shirt. Okay, yeah, move the earpiece hard. to my other ear. Yeah. Well, the point is I can't have it on my stomach. There you go. So un uncomfortable position for sure. It's supposed to be a restraint. Steven, can you talk to us a little bit? Can you breathe? Yeah, just no, fine? I can talk to you. I have I have more of a spasm in my neck because my neck's been sore for a couple of days. Okay. Like I said, what really hurts is my left shoulder just because of a uh, uh, a nagging shoulder injury and the fact that Token Allen put the cuffs on my forearms, not on my wrist. Again, he did that. Yeah, he put them on perpendicular he did it on to purpose. where my wrist goes, as opposed to actually putting them. So he made it needlessly unpleasant. Thanks for that, Token Allen. <laughs> you know, I feel like he's band baiting with this. There's no way he's not baiting a ban because you know he he was he, he was in the, he was in the news a while well, not the news but he was in the youtube community news a while back for uh calling uh carlos maza a lispy queer that's probably my favorite oh fucking i remember movie. that yeah um uh did you know uh, the recent stuff with him because he's been posting on like his um i still follow him on instagram though and he posts like occasionally i think on his stories it's like hey my YouTube video just got taken down. Like, what the hell, YouTube? They have no problem doing this with, like, the, the liberal creators. And, like, I did nothing wrong. And this was not at all misinformation. But that's what they labeled it. And then they blacklisted it. Or they, they took it down. And, like, same thing with, like, some of his tweets. Like, he would post, a, he would post like, a tweet. And then sometimes it would get taken down. And then he'd post, like, the takedown on a different social media platform. Well, I and mean... That's been happening. I'd say YouTube definitely does have a left bias here. Yeah, I know. Uh, 100%. That's why they fucking sucked off Carlos Maza's cock when, when he called him a lesbian <laughs> queer. And that that's why they deleted 2.5 million dislikes from Joe Biden's YouTube channel. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Which, I mean, regardless of your political beliefs, I feel like it's stupid to censor criticism. I mean, I, it's not even—it's not even like dislikes or criticism, but it's still like you know you're censoring the, the fucking. Like it makes people have a different outlook when there's all the dislikes there, but now that you remove them, there now people are gonna be like, oh shit, you know. And like all the comments are negative, and somehow it's like a positive, like the dislike ratio. Yeah, actually, that, yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. Like there, there were a bunch of negative comments on the video, and even people acknowledging why this, why does this have a positive like to dislike ratio if everyone on the comments is talking shit. So that's how you know they're removing dislikes from those videos because if everyone's talking shit in the comments, there's going to be a negative dislike like to dislike ratio. But I don't know. Maybe, I mean, maybe Raph, Joe Biden just has a bunch of haters that he needs to shake <laughs> off. Yeah, I mean, Raph, Raph, you're you're the resident righty here. What do you think about this? <laughs> yeah, I, Raph. I, I told you before, like it's not really that surprising that YouTube's doing that. At this point, like it's obvious that they're biased and i think it's kind of dumb i think i think most smart people will know that big tech 
like YouTube, Facebook, and like Instagram and stuff like that. They are they're all left bias. They're not like communist regimes or something like that, but they're just left bias, and they'll do things subtle things like remove dislikes. And it's, like, you know, it's no, was they dying in like the to get to no page or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, I, I would say definitely that YouTube. Like, I mean, I understand to an extent why they why they try to censor um right wing YouTubers to an extent because. I mean, they're trying to they're trying to keep the brands up. They're trying to keep the money going. And if if you have Stephen Crowder replicating George Floyd, <laughs> the brands are going to yeah. be a little bit scared. They're going to be like, "What the fuck is this?" And the outrage culture. I mean, back in 2016, you know, it's e- it was easy to say, you know, anti SJW shit. You know, it was like a very clearly right leaning uh, era back in 2016. But now, you know, this is uh this is very left leaning world we live in on YouTube. Yeah. Yep. And it's all Jelani's fault. And it's all my no, fault. I was the... saying, yeah, like... um, actually, what what is your guys' theory on that? What what do you think caused the YouTube platform, besides besides politics itself, besides like you know this whole like you know presidency, what do you guys think YouTube or was responsible for YouTube becoming left leaning? YouTube rewind. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. It's about as important as the election. It's when um I don't know. Wait, when you say elections and politics, do you mean just this election and like this year's politics? I, I honestly no. I would say more t- the 2016 election. I th- I think that's what started the whole like you know YouTube becoming left leaning. Because that's what I was gonna say. Because like Donald Trump was not a very popular. Per- he still not is for reasons you can search up. But anyway, <laughs> um, I I think just like generally his personality and his beliefs didn't really mix with like what a lot of people were thinking. Or at least just a lot of people that are, like, very vocal about their opinions. So yeah. then YouTube was kind of just like, hmm, we kind of want to distance ourselves as much as possible. So I guess we can start saying, like, oh, hey, we support, like, all these things that Donald Trump wouldn't directly support. And he might, but he won't say it. So, mm-hmm. like, there's that, and here's all this, and we're in favor of all these kind of kind of bills and whatever. And, like, inclusivity and all, all this other stuff. That's very, um, it's very, uh, left, I guess not necessarily left-leaning, but definitely not something that Steven Crowder or Donald Trump would post about. Yeah, so, they're, they're playing it I, very I safely, I'd say. Yeah. Which I guess, See, I guess. Now, if Bernie Sanders was president, oh, then yeah. there would be a lot of racial slurs everywhere. <laughs> There'd be a lot, of, a lot of slurs about a specific race of people who have the yeah, star of Davis on their... <laughs> You know what, oh. Jawani? <laughs> That's a great idea. Wow. Uh, so, I mean, did you already see the full video? I I already saw the full video beforehand. He he. What they do is they just like keep the neon for another like ten minutes. Um, oh, okay. Just to replicate what happened. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I mean, okay. Me personally, I don't care. It's just a video. Who who cares? But uh, I think for the landscape of YouTube, and you know what's what's going to happen, I think he very possibly has a chance of getting banned because. With how YouTube is nowadays, like I said before, it, they're they're very uh, careful. They they play it very safe. But uh, you know, I actually I I like Crowder to an extent. I I kind of like the guy. He's pretty funny, and he I I like his uh, political commentary. But uh, I don't know. I mean, a bit strange. Uh, it was kind of funny, I guess. You <laughs> just to see him. Yeah, kind of funny. Kind of funny. I mean, I don't know. Well, I, don't... I mean, in a, in like a in in a very fucked like... up way. Like it was. Canadian replicating a black man's death. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. yeah um, mm-hmm. what do you? How do you guys feel about Jazzer? Because I mean, I already made my video about him. We are. I already had my my thirty six minutes of, of, of choice words to say about my favorite YouTuber. And uh, I don't know. Are you guys fans or are you guys uh, haters for I Jazzer? I feel uh, like he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> wow. Why well, is he so infatuated with Carson? Like the whole Carson thing. I I don't know. He he just sucks his cup. Like. Well, because when I was doing research for this guy, he was um, he was a, a gaming YouTuber. He he made gaming videos. I, I put his uh, his link to, into the Wayback Machine, and he was making like you know, like you, you guys know Xbox Addictions and, and Master of Luck. Yeah, like yeah. he he yeah. was making those types of videos, but like with Call of Duty uh, and shit like that, like trolling videos. How big how big were the the videos? Like how big was his channel? Then? He, he had he had like maybe like a like a couple hundred subs, like nine hundred subs, maybe a thousand. Oh yeah, okay. I don't even know. He point is, I think he had like under a thousand subs. I know that much. 
So, right. and I, I guess that wasn't working for him very well. So what he resorted to was covering pedophile allegations in a very crude, shitty manner. And um, I don't know, he's just a, a very weird guy. Well, how do you feel about this marmalade, Marlo? Um, like the lack of content is really weird. Like he's just milking the whole entire situation over and over again. Um, what's his newest video? Well, actually, his newest video was was a bit of a change. It, it, it was a oh, okay. he he, he reuploaded the the drama alert French girl interview. I don't know. This guy's just a massive cunt. He's just, he's just a giant moron. Like he doesn't know what he's talking about. And it's, <laughs> like it's it's honestly kind of sad. Like I feel like I feel like I'm talking to like a fucking autistic person. What if he I is actually autistic and that's why he doesn't know what he's talking about half the time and he's so stupid? Uh, I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. Oh, <laughs> no more. <laughs> see, we, we don't need autistic people. Just like he, he, I, I, it's just like, Some of them. it's, it's not even fun. I, I, okay. Well, actually it is pretty fun. Uh, it would be fun to debate him. Uh, and we'll get into that a little bit, but, um, I, it's, it's, he's just like a pathetic, he's fucking pathetic. Like he's, he's, he shouldn't be trusted. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He just repeats the same points over and over again. Like I said in my video, he's just a fucking, a failure of a YouTuber. And, uh, you know, maybe it's because of his age, but even then, I think I'm younger than him, and he, I, I cover shit better than he does. I know I'm a better YouTuber than this piece of shit. Giovanni, would, would you comment on your YouTube video, if you had to change anything about the video, or if you had to include something, or get rid of something, or re rephrase even anything, what would you rephrase, or redo? Um, well, I, I like to keep my videos nice and cut and clean, so honestly, I, what, what do you mean from this video? Yeah, from your iDesert video. Honestly, I'd probably take on nothing. I think because well, I, I script my videos beforehand. Um, so, so it was all neatly. Polished. So, yeah, I I made sure it was neat and polished. So I I really wouldn't take anything out. Maybe if anything, I'd probably make it a little bit more mean if I if looking really? back. <laughs> because he really does deserve it. He's he's the biggest waste of space in this platform of all time. More slurs. More slurs. Yes. So I the the the, the I believe the same day the video came out. I, I posted a pinned comment uh, making fun of him uh, where I, I pretty much just quoted him saying, I respect the grind. And how he responded, he responded in the most, like he was so fucking clearly butthurt because of my video. <laughs> like he was basically saying, oh, oh, uh, you're, you're fucking, um, you got me. My career is over. It, it was just like the most, like what, what kind of fucking response is that? My nuts are quaking. Tell us about his nuts. <laughs> yeah, he, he was talking about his nuts. Like I'm not his fucking doctor. If he has a nut problem, he should get a physical. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, what is what is your guys' true opinions on, on, on this fucking piece of shit? I think, like I said, I, I feel like he really doesn't know what he's doing. And he thought, like, he can milk the situation, but now he has to just make up stuff and pretend like he knows what he's doing. I feel like that's that's really what he caught himself in. And I don't think yeah. he knows what to do anymore now that, now that he's here. It's not like he can back out. Only and I, I don't know so why the hard. hell he took down his freaking videos. Well, actually, like that, I said, that, maybe. It, what were we saying? <laughs> well, I was saying like that's the confusing part is like why did he take down? I mean, I asked him in the in, in his community tab. I asked him why did you why did you take down the videos? Or no, I, I asked him here actually, because he was. I asked him um, uh, well, because when after his reply that he put, I asked him what was the actual reason you privated your videos? No bullshit, like saying you were in danger or that Keemstar made you do it because. But uh, I think I believe the the moment he privated his videos, he said he was in danger, and that Keemstar made him take down his videos. Now, obviously, both of them were bullshit because if you were in danger, you wouldn't be posting memes on your account. <laughs> yeah. And what was his response? Well, he said, uh, "My nuts are quaking." So that wasn't really he pretty much said <laughs> nothing. <laughs> um, I mean, his nuts quake. Yeah, I, I think that's why. I think his his nuts were quaking. I honestly think that the reason he, he privated them was because of me, not not to suck my own dick, but. But he clearly was, you know, he was pussyfooting around, and he just oh. didn't want to respond. Oh, what is that term? What is pussyfooting? You know, just like swerving a <laughs> question. He, he was swerving everything. That sounds. That sounds like a a sex position you wouldn't want to try. Pussyfoot. You put your foot in your vagina. Uh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, after everything, I challenged him to a debate. I was like, you know what? You fucking suck at arguing your points on my comment section. So how about we settle this over a debate on my channel or, or whichever one? Because I really didn't care. Because I guess his thing was he was like, you're doing this for views. Uh, which even if I was, he has no room to talk. Um, God damn. 
<laughs> but I was like, you know what? If you want to do it on your channel, if you want to do it on my channel, if you want to do it on someone else's channel, I don't care. What I was just saying was, let's have this debate on our platform, on a podcast, on a stream, whatever you want. And let's let's talk this out. Let's let's yell at each other. And he just said he he just swerved it. So, you know, it's was, it's was pretty funny. I think. I don't think it was nice enough. I think you sh- you should have asked for an apology. I should you know what? I should have asked for a fucking apology. He's that's how pathetic he was. And Damn. um well, and I I think I mentioned this last uh podcast or the previous recording, but and I don't know if I I should disclose this, but there is a possibility that me and Jazzer will still be having this debate happen or it, it might be happening eventually at some point. Let's and, hope so. And it, it will be hosted. I, I won't say who, who's going to host it, but it, it'll be hosted by uh, uh, um, someone that you guys are familiar with. Someone, someone that I, um, me and him are acquaintances on YouTube. And uh, he's just going to be. Yo, who? Well, I mean, should, should I say it? Devil. No, don't say it. In case it doesn't happen, and then you put this up, and then you look like an and idiot. You look retarded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Giovanni. Well, it's... then Jazzer will make fun of you. I mean, what, get the what, what do you think is going to be working on right now? Okay, well, uh, uh, I don't know, because he's saying, I I checked on this tab, and I was like, uh, people were asking him, when's your next video? What's it going to be about? And he's like, it's coming soon. What do you think it's gonna, he's going to talk about? Carson? Like what? That's his topic that he milks, and now that I called him out, I think he's here to like talk about shit. <laughs> what if he actually okay what would you do in this situation Giovanni if you were iJazzer would you make more Carson videos if someone called you out directly for making Carson if videos if I was iJazzer I would just delete my entire channel oh. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds reasonable well I don't know yeah. it's just, he's, he's just like a fucking like well, first of all I would I would never do that in, in the first place I, I would never make a, I'll make, uh, a call me Carson video no, ten yeah. times Um, but only I don't know. one time yeah, because that's what I did in, like in real life. I, I I made one Call Me Carson video. I was happy with it, and I feel like you know there's nothing else I can really say to add to this topic. But um, and, you know, apparently Jazzer thinks differently. He thinks that he needs to make twenty videos. That's all the same thing, pretty much, just like repeated over and over again. He's a strange guy. He's he's a strange character. And I don't I don't know where he's gonna take his channel next because it's um. I really don't know where he could go from now from here. What I I don't think he can actually do anything now. Or I don't think he will. Maybe he's making a response video to me. <laughs> no, no, he wouldn't. I feel like it'll that. just be ten minutes of him crying and saying that you're mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? This guy I... named Devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I was actually kind of uh, worried that he was gonna claim that I like harassed him or doxed him. Really? I feel like I feel like he, he's capable of uh, saying that shit. I don't even know if he can upload anymore. Just, like, what? What is there to upload? Unless like some actual breakthrough comes through, like five years later when Carson's like on the platform again, like Badgerverse did or something. Well, I don't know. actually, there is a bit of new information that came out about the Call Me Carson situation. Uh, oh, really? Where speaking of doxing, Call Me Carson was doxed recently. Uh, I wonder why. I wonder why. I well, wonder why. What regardless, did do? I, I don't. It, well, it's obviously about this whole, you know this whole uh, scheme yeah, with Sam. But uh, someone decided to take it to level 10 and they doxed him, uh, which I don't think, I think if you dox someone, you're like out of your fucking mind. Like you're a moron. Like you you don't just, you don't go and, and release someone's private information just because you don't like them. What if you really don't like them? Then, then it's okay. Okay, how do you guys feel about, how do you guys feel about doxing in general? <laughs> Are you fucking uh, It's only okay <laughs> if they're a Nazi. Only if only if it's a Nazi. There yeah, you go. Only for Nazis. I don't know. I just I feel and like... if they're shitty content creators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Let's talk about um, the main topic of this video. Let's talk about Lolly. Giovanni's here. Giovanni's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Lolly. Let's talk about my favorite subgenre. Giovanni's... We already talked about this kind of a little bit yesterday, and by a little bit I mean a lot. Um, yeah. How much? But we didn't go through any videos. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't really go in depth. Just talking about. How stupid they are! Yeah. So I mean, what? Yeah, what? we, we should have like looked up. We should have gone on like uh, anime dot com or something, and then like looked uh, at it and just being like, "Yeah, guys, you can't watch this." Do you guys remember? <laughs> do you guys remember those log support videos, like the the ones we were looking at the other day? Yeah. Like 
The ones with like the dragons crossing their arms. No, I I mean like the ones where um, like the the fucking dudes were like supporting Lolly. Like they made a video saying why Lolly was okay. Yeah. What was their point on that? Like, what did they bring up? I I don't even I don't remember. Like I I remember they were saying something along the lines of, um, you know, they're. It says in the anime that they're four thousand years old, and also they're not real. So why do you care so much? Yeah, like, Giovanni, they're not was, real. Yeah, there's no victim, Giovanni. Come yeah, on. The, <laughs> you know what? That's a great point. Who's the victim? Who's the victim here? Uh, this video just changed pace. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's just get a a nice consensus here. What do you guys think about Lolly? Uh, you see, if it were up to me, I would be shad based and I'd be making thousands of dollars right now. So. Oh, I, you know what? I, I would too. <laughs> I would compare it almost to like deep fakes in a sense, just because like they're they're both very different. One's like much more realistic and but you could also make the same argument for like deep fakes. Like, yeah, there's no victim and you know, no one actually gets hurt. The there intent. are no actual girls involved. But then like imagine like someone makes a deep fake of you like fucking some other girl. Like you wouldn't be okay with that. Same thing with like Laurie's. Yeah. You wouldn't want you wouldn't want just people on the internet just being like, oh, yeah, you know, I draw, like, little girls, and they're, like, getting over in skirts with, like, a, you know, another guy that's the antagonist that's, like, uh, what, like, 40 years old or something, and they're they're all, like, 40 as well, but, you know, they grow differently. This is a different universe, so they don't look 40. They look 5. Oh, yeah. So, it's totally justified. It's, yeah, 100% right? justified. Anybody who likes all you, know, you're, you're <laughs> A-OK -okay in my book. <laughs> I'm changing. I'm changing my opinion right it's, now. <laughs> it's not even if it's illegal or not. It's it's the intent that's still there. Like even it's if you clarify that the person is 18 and they still look like a child, that's fucked up. I feel it's like a, I honestly I, I would go as far as to say it, it might even be like just breaking the law a little bit, because let me let me give you guys an example here. Let's just say okay, well, obviously it's 100% uh, known for a fact that child porn is obviously very illegal yeah yeah but now let's switch it to lolly let's just say a drawing of a child let's just say yeah. animated children porn is is that legal i i would say no i'd say no it's still a kid well <clears throat> i really hope not dumb ass motherfucker the the thing that's like here, here here's like the, the thing like you couldn't make it illegal and it sounds like a good idea but then you need like the the lolly police to judge like oh yeah that's definitely an underage girl or oh yeah people have to like <laughs> she looks just a little under eighteen yeah. or like all right this uh, can't how, pass Giovanni you were saying like the other way how um like oh like they're two years old but they look like a forty year old woman well mm -hmm. then like isn't that technically a child then like it doesn't matter if they look mature and e even if like they are depicted like where where do you draw like the law. Uh, and you know, then, you know what? That, that's that's actually a good point, and that's actually a really good question. Where is the line drawn? Yeah, that that's why it, it's to just, an extent it's a very slippery slope. Yeah, and there's no um, there, there's not just like one line too. It's like okay, well, at what point does it become like a cartoon's drawing? At what point is it like um? At one point, is it just like a really shittily drawn girl that you say is for, for like getting fucked, like stick figures, right? Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be illegal, but it's technically lolly because you said it was lolly. Uh, I I disagree because um, obviously with a stick figure, there's no there's no depiction of a child there because, I mean, yeah, you, you could say it's four years old, but you know, it's uh, a a crudely drawn like a, a, you're not gonna jerk off to a stick figure. I mean, probably there's some, there's people who would do that. But well, yeah, if, but, if you outlaw if you outlaw lolly, then people are just going to be like, "Well, this is the only thing I have." And pr yeah, probably not stick figures. That's a, like an exaggeration. But like at the same point, how well does it have to be drawn for it to be like identifiable? Well, I, like, I'd, oh, I'd, yeah. I'd say that. I'd say if if you're able to clearly identify that it's a kid, I'd say that's where the line is drawn. That's where you're like, you know what? No, fuck off. Don't you know jerk off to a very obviously. Or something that's very obviously meant to depict a kid. I think that's where you draw the line. Like I said, you, you got to get like the lolly police or something, and then they're going to be the ones to decide. And then it's like, well, how do they decide them? 
Like, is, if you're talking about laws, like, are they going to get voted in? Are they going to get chosen by someone else? Um, like, who's going to manage them if they say, like, oh, yeah, this is lollyborn, and, like, it's not at all, and they just said that because they're targeting someone. You know, like, it, it's all, like, silly stuff, but I, it could happen, so there's still things that you need to look out for. And, it, like, it, it sounds like a good idea to make it illegal because it's still, like, super fucked up, but I don't think there is any any viable an efficient way to to manage it so you just have to as a society frown down upon it yeah, and give like yeah. a, a big old fuck you to everyone who like jacks off to that shit i got two girlfriends and they best friends i love it when they french kiss if you ain't with it you my ex bitch Oh my gosh, should I just use the Cum Blaster account?